Hello everyone, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are solving and graphing two-step inequalities. We have solved two-step equations. We can solve two-step inequalities, no big deal. We have graphed inequalities. It's not going to be any different. Just putting a few things that we already know how to do together. First example, here we go. 3x plus 1 is less than 7. Our variable's on the left side. Two things are happening. It's being multiplied by 3, and it's got a positive 1 with it. We are going to save the term with the variable for last. Remember, the variable's right there with that 3x, so we're going to save it. First, we're going to undo the positive 1. How do you undo positive 1? With a negative 1. And what you do to one side, you must do to the other side. So we're now at 3x is less than 6. And how do we undo multiplying a 3? By dividing by 3. What's due to one side must do to the other side, and we get our solution of x is less than 2. Remember when we graph, I want to know the number that you got on your solution, and I want to know where 0 is in relation to that number. 2 is positive, so 0 is going to be to the left of it. x is less than 2. A less than symbol means we are going to use an open circle because 2 is not a part of our solution. And all the numbers that are less than 2 are to the left of 2 on the number line. As long as we make sure that our variable is on the left side when, it's, uh, when we've solved, when it's in our solution in our answer. Let's do another. Let's do four more. How about that? It'll be fun. 4h minus 6 is greater than or equal to 22. We're going to start by adding 6 to both sides. And we get 4h is greater than or equal to 28. Divide both sides by 4. And we have h is greater than or equal to 7. So here's 7. Here's 0. Greater than or equal to gets a closed circle. And greater than goes to the right. Easy. Pause if you need to. Anytime. I'm going to go ahead and work these out, so if you need to pause it right now because you want to try it on your own first, great. Go for it. You can probably do it anyway. Negative 17 is greater than negative 6w plus 1. Save the term with the variable for last. I'm going to undo a positive with a negative. On the left, negative 17 and negative 1 is negative 18. Negatives and negatives make more negatives. And we've got negative 6w on the right. We are multiplying by negative 6, so we're going to divide by negative 6. What you do to one side, you must do to the other side. We're going to get positive 3 and w. And I hope you remembered, because we are dividing both sides by a negative number, we flip the sign. We're dividing by negative 6, so we flip it from a greater than to a less than. But for this problem, we're going to end up flipping it right back because we need the variable to be on the left side. Our graphing tricks, our gra graphing strategies, won't work as well unless that variable is on the left side. So w is greater than 3. It's an open circle. And greater than goes to the right. Please remember that sign flip. I did it a couple times. Example 4. y over 6 minus 2 is less than or equal to 3. y over 6 is the term with the variable, so I'm going to start by undoing the negative 2 with a positive 2 to both sides, which means I now have y over 6 is less than or equal to 5. 
and I'm dividing by 6, so I need to multiply by 6 to both sides. And I end up with y is less than or equal to 30. 30 is a positive, which means 0 is on the left. And less than or equal to gets a closed circle. Less than goes to the left. Nice. One more. Example 5. Negative 7 is greater than negative 4 minus x over 3. Negative x over 3 is our term with the variable. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. Negative 7 and positive 4, looks like the negatives are going to win that one by 3. Now on the right, we have a negative x over 3. Now we learned a little bit ago that there are three different ways to write a negative fraction. We know that we can put the negative out here in front of the, of the fraction line. We also know we can put it in the denominator. We, or That's the numerator, I guess. But we can also put it in the denominator. So we can easily rewrite this problem putting the negative sign in a more convenient place. If it was me, and it is me, I'm probably going to choose this one. Okay, so I'm actually going to erase and rewrite that negative. Hopefully you're listening to the video, not just watching and writing it down, or you're going to be really confused. All right. So I'm dividing by negative 3, so I'm going to multiply by negative 3. And those are going to cancel. And what I do to one side, I must do to the other. Negative times negative is positive 9. But remember, I multiplied both sides by a negative number, so I flip the sign. And I also want the variable on the left, so I'm going to flip it back. I'm eating the x. I still have to eat the x. Okay, so a few more steps in that problem. Uh, I had a, a negative fraction that we don't see. Well, we see it every once in a while. Got to know how to do it. The 9 and the 0 is to the left of the 9. Greater than is an open circle. And greater than goes to the right. That's it. Solving and graphing two-step inequalities, you know how to do. If you do have any questions, write them down. Come ready tomorrow. We'll talk about them. See you soon.